it's Miss Victoria. Welcome to story time. Um, today's story time is going to be all about dinosaurs. Roar. Give me your best dinosaur roar. All right. Good job. Before we get into our dinosaur stories, we're going to sing our welcome song. So we clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With all our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. Hello everyone. Let me see those fingers. Hold up all 10 fingers. We're gonna open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. But do not let them in. Hide those hands. And then we're gonna roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, just like this. Put them to your little mouth and blow a great big kiss. All right, welcome everyone. Let's see, what is our first dinosaur book today? This one is called Am I Yours by Alex Latimer. And this is published by Peachtree Publishing. Am I Yours? This is a lost dino egg is looking for mommy and daddy. 200 million years ago, an icy wind began to blow. It blew great clouds from east to west and pushed an egg out of a nest. The egg rolled gently down a hill, slow at first and fast, until it bumped a rock and spun around and came to land on level ground. It sat there through that cold, dark night. At last, it felt the warm sunlight. And with the light came thumping feet. The egg called out, soft and sweet. Excuse me, please, but am I yours? I'm sure I am a dinosaur's. First, Stegosaurus wandered near and asked the egg loud and clear, what do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Are there spikes along your spine, long and flat and sharp like mine? I have no spikes, I'm sad to say, so I'm not yours, but that's okay. Next, Brachiosaurus leaned in low and asked his questions calm and slow. What do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Do you have a longish neck or is it short? Can you check? It's very short, this neck of mine, so I'm not yours, but I'll be fine. Triceratops came trotting by and spoke to the egg eye to eye. What do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Do you have horns? One, two, and three. Three sharp horns, just like me? I have no horns, I wish I did, so I'm not yours, I'm not your kid. Corythosaurus ambled past. She stopped and stared, then spoke at last. What do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Is there a crest upon your head? Or is it flat and smooth instead? I have no crest, I just checked now, so I'm not yours. Thanks anyhow. Tyrannosaurus came to see and asked the egg quite lovingly, what do you look like inside that shell? I can't see in, so I can't tell. Do you have a mouth of teeth, sharp on top and down beneath? My teeth are few, the egg replied, so I'm not yours, it said inside. The sun sank slowly in the sky and the lonely egg began to cry. The light of day is fading fast. I'm sure this night will be my last. I can't survive in wind and storm. I'll freeze alone. I must stay warm. You are not ours. Whose could you be? We wish there was a way to see. But as the sun began to set, it showed a perfect silhouette. 
a pair of wings, a pointy snout, and two strong legs, both short and stout. We see you now inside your shell. We know your folks, we know them well. The egg was rolled back up the hill, rolled and nudged and pushed until they reached a soft and sandy mound. They left it where it would be found. Then came the thump of heavy feet. The egg called out so soft and sweet. One last time, I must be sure. Are you the ones I'm looking for? We are, we are, we are yours. We're two ecstatic pterosaurs. And then the night had come and gone. The sky was clear with light of dawn. There came a tap, a crack, a scratch, and the lucky egg began to hatch. The end. Am I Yours by Alex Latimer. That's a good one. Lots of different dinos in that one. All right, let's see. This next song, I'm gonna have you stand up and dance. Um, I'm gonna stay seated so you could still see my head. And it's kind of like the dinosaur hokey pokey. And you put your claws in, you take your claws out, you put your claws in, and you scratch them all about. You do the dino pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. And you put your feet in, you put your feet out, you put your feet in, and you stomp them all about. You do the dino pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your teeth in, you take your teeth out, you put your teeth in, and you chomp them all about. You do the dino pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your tail in, you take your tail out, you put your tail in, and you shake it all about. You do the dino pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Let's do your claws one more time. You put your claws in, you take your claws out, you put your claws in, and you scratch them all about. You do the dino pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yay! That's a fun one. You could keep going with that. All right, let's see. Our next one is ABC T Rex by Bernard Most. And this is published by Harcourt Books. ABC T Rex. There once was a T Rex who loved his ABCs so much he ate them up. A was appetizing apples and artichokes and asparagus and acorns. B was even better bacon and blueberries and butter and bagels and biscuits. C was chewy cotton candy, candy canes, chocolate. D tasted delicious donuts and Danish. E was easy to eat eggs. F was a feast, french fries and fruit and fish and fudge and fried chicken. G got gobbled up, grapes and gingerbread and grapefruit, grape juice. H made him hungrier, hamburgers and hot dogs. I was irresistible, ice cream and ice pops. J was juicy, jam and jelly. K tasted great with ketchup. L was luscious. Lobster and lemon and lime and lima beans and lasagna and licorice. M was a mouthful. Milk and muffins and mashed potatoes and meat and mushrooms and mustard and mayo, meatballs. N was nutritious, noodles and nuts. O tasted oh so good. Oatmeal cookies and olives and oranges. P was perfect for picnics. Pizza and peas and pickles and peanuts and pancakes and potato chips and pie and pudding. Oh my goodness. Q was quite quenching. Quenching his thirst. R was refreshing. Roast beef and rice pudding, rice pudding and ravioli and raspberries. S was for sharing, spaghetti and shrimp and salad and strawberry shortcake and sandwiches and soup. T 
tea was a treat. Tea and tacos and toast and tarts. You upset his tummy. Upset tummy? Too much candy. V was full of vitamins. Lots of vegetables. W was wonderful. Watermelon and whipped cream and waffles. X reminded him to exercise. Y made him yawn. Yogurt. Z was for sleep. Time for bed. Good night. ABC T Rex by Bernard Most. Do you think a T Rex really eats all that food? I bet they do. Let's see. This next one is another song. And it goes, here he comes, just a stomping his feet, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do, searching all around for something good to eat, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. He's huge, he's huge, he's strong, he's strong. He, uh, he's huge, he's strong, won't be hungry very long. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. All right, let's sing that one again. Here he comes, just a stomping his feet, singing Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Searching all around for something good to eat, singing Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. He's huge, he's huge, he's strong, he's strong. He's huge, he's strong, won't be hungry very long. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else do we have? We have, How Do Dinosaurs Learn to Read? by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. And this is published by Blue Sky Press, an imprint of Scholastic. How do dinosaurs learn to read? Does he skim through the pages with powerful speed? Does he use his new book as a shovel or bat? Play fetch with the dog? Throw books at the cat? Does he sound out the words or just take a quick look? Does she lose her huge temper then jump on the book? Does she flip every page, but not really look through it? Does she skip the hard words? Does a dinosaur chew it? Does he read in the tub, make the book a big boat, and then throw a tantrum when it doesn't float? Does he read on the potty while making a mess? Does he stay till the end of the book? Well, I guess. Does she scratch off the words with the tip of her tail? Does he have a big hissy fit when reading skills fail? Does a dinosaur wail? No. She's kind to each book, to the cover and pages. She reads very carefully, never has rages. She reads out each word till she knows they sound right. When she snuggles in bed, Mama turns down the light. Then he calls to his parents who stand by the door. Please, Mama, please, Papa, can I read one more? Tomorrow, tomorrow, little dinosaur. The end. How do dinosaurs learn to read? Jane Yolen. That's probably how you guys will learn to read. Sound out each word and you look at the pages carefully and you don't get mad. Let's see. We have another rhyme before our next book and we sing. You could actually stand up and march with this one if you want or you could stomp your feet. The dinosaurs are marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The dinosaurs are marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The dinosaurs are marching one by one. The little one 
stop to stand in the sun, and they all went marching around and around and up and down. And the dinosaurs are marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The dinosaurs are marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The dinosaurs are marching one by one. The little one stopped to admire the view. And they all went marching down and around and up and down. And the dinosaurs are marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The dinosaurs are marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The dinosaurs are marching one by one, the little one stopped to eat from a tree. And they all went marching around and around and up and down. And one more. The dinosaurs are marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The dinosaurs are marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The dinosaurs are marching one by one, the little one stopped to give a roar. And they all went marching around and around and up and down. All right, good dinosaur marching. And our last book is Dino Snores by Sandra Boynton. And this is published by, let's see, by Thomas Allen and Son, a Workman Publishing Company, Dino Snores by Sandra Boynton. Workman Publishing Company. When the sun has gone down and the blue stars appear, then the dinosaurs know that their bedtime is near. So they clean all their teeth and, they, and their sweet faces too. Then they wriggle and stretch, just like dinosaurs do. Their pajamas are cozy. They put them on, they all put them on. Then they yawn. And they yawn, and they yawn, and they yawn. Now they all settle down in a dinosaur heap. They all close their eyes. They all fall asleep. And soon they are dreaming, our dinosaur friends. I'm afraid this is when all the snoring begins. Honk, honk, the snoring goes on and on and on through the night. They never stop snoring till the first morning light. I like all the dinos, but I just want to say, thank goodness those dinosaurs live far, far away. Far, far away, you hear. Honk, honk, honk. Dinah snores. The end. And we have one more rhyme. And this one goes, do you know Stegosaurus? 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 Do you know Stegosaurus? He has plates on his back. Do you know Apatosaurus? 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 Do you know Apatosaurus? He had a very long neck. Do you know Tyrannosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, Tyrannosaurus? Do you know Tyrannosaurus? He was very fierce. Do you know Triceratops, Triceratops, Triceratops? Do you know Triceratops? He had three great big horns. Do you know Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus? Do you know Stegosaurus? He had plates on his back. Do you know Apatosaurus, Apatosaurus, Apatosaurus? Do you know Apatosaurus? He had a very long neck. Do you know Tyrannosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, Tyrannosaurus? Do you know Tyrannosaurus? He was very fierce. Do you know Triceratops, Triceratops, Triceratops? Do you know Triceratops? He had three great big horns. All right, so those are some of our most popular dinosaurs. But there are so many other dinosaurs to learn about. But those are all of our dinosaur books and all of our dinosaur songs for today. So we will sing our goodbye song. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With all our friends at story time, we clap and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye, we stomp and sing goodbye. With all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing goodbye.
wave and say goodbye. We wave and say goodbye with all our friends at story time. We wave and say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.